Hello guys, this is TJ. Welcome to my first Lightroom tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how I edited this picture and turned it into this. And I'm going to kind of go through everything with you so you can see how I did it. So, first of all, like, I took this picture on Liverpool, you know, near Liverpool Street Station. Um, I thought it was quite a nice reflection. Came out really well. A little bit of the bus, you know, quite nice. So, this is what I'm going to do. So first of all, I'll bring down my highlights all the way. I'll bring down the shadows. I'll bring them up a little bit and then white a little bit up. But I'm going to bring my blacks down quite a bit to create a really dark kind of image. Um, and then I don't really add contrast using this. I kind of usually go down to my tone curve and I add some contrast like this. Just make a nice, nice S. You know, I want to clip it as well so I get like those flat blacks and they kind of get that like hazy effect. I push this up a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. And then I'm going to go into the red. I'm going to bring the red down a little bit. Go into the blue. Push this up a little bit. Just slightly, you know, it's, it's only a small change that you have to make. Just kind of like that. And it's made a slight, you know, look at that. From that to that, it's really made quite a lot of difference, you know. So from there, I'm going to play with the temperature slightly, make it slightly warmer, I think. Go for a light, light warmer thing. And then I'm going to add some clarity. I only ever add up to about 30 max. Then I'm going to desaturate this image to about 50. But I'm going to go down to my colors here, go to the red. And I'm going to make that a lot more red, you know, kind of change it, make it a little bit more vibrant and noticeable. I think the shadows need to come up a little bit. Then I'm going to always go five by seven crop auto align and then you know i wanted to get more of the, the ground in i think that's quite nice then i'll go down to my effect add a bit of vignetting but i'm going to put the midpoint a little bit further out maybe about there okay Lens corrections always enable profile. You see that makes quite a difference. You know, it makes a hell of a difference in the chromatic aberration. And because I always export to um, to Instagram, you know, Instagram kind of de sharpens the images. So I add a bit of sharpening in and a little bit of noise reduction. The kind of shot only at 100 ISO. It was a bit of a slow shutter speed, but 113, so I could get a bit of a spray, you know, movement in the bus. And then, you know, I think that for me was quite good. Like, imagine black and white now. And the tone curve is where you can make amazing adjustments. Like, I didn't, I made this picture warm, but I still have a cool, for so the building it is kind of warm, you see? But there's a cool overlook to the image, you know what I mean? And that comes from the tone curve. And you know, you can play this, play with it. You know, it goes crazy. Literally, you can do some mental stuff. You can, if you wanted to create some crazy tones in your images, let's just mess around with it and see what we can kind of create. You never know what you could. The green one is usually very unhelpful. But you know, you don't have to go as crazy as this. You just want to make small changes. And these will make quite a good good look to your image you know so just play around with your tone curve that's always really important and you know I think that was a quick tutorial and just you know an example of how I would edit the picture quite quickly and you know hopefully you guys have learned something from this I'll, um, I'll link my Instagram and everything in below so you can check out what this picture looked like when I exported it and everything and when I export I always you know export at a high quality you know i try go for you know when i go down here i'll just put it like 100 percent 
you know, JPEG, depending on what you want to do, you never know. Um, sharpen the screen, obviously. And then that's it, you know, export. And I think that's very similar to, let's see what this was. Yeah, it looked pretty close to what, you know, the original one was. So that was just a re-edit and I kind of just went through it again. Ended up with this very, you know, quite close. But yeah. Thanks, guys.